there is a local organization dedicated to reaching people in need from all aspects of life through the therapy of miniature horses. Yes, and Mary Rose Goulet is founder of Honey's Mini Therapy Adventures. She joins us to share more about what they're doing to help those in our community. Welcome, Mary, and welcome, Honey and Belle. They're beauties. Tell us about these gorgeous girls. Thank you. This is Honey. She is the original purpose of our organization. Um, we bought her for my three-year-old little girl to learn how to take care of horses and to learn how to groom. I wanted something safe that she could hug and squeeze and wouldn't hurt her back. So it took us about 20 months to find Honey. Um, we were searching for a specific disposition and it took a long time to seek her out. And once we had her, we had a friend that gave us um, an idea to uh, turn her into a therapy dog. She had seen one on Facebook and uh, like a therapy mini. Um, and she had kind of just joked about it that she could be a therapy dog. She's got a friend doing it and we turned her into Aww. a therapy horse. So a fabulous therapy horse. So I've heard of this. Explain what training goes in or how were you able to like get the designation that these are therapy? I mean, look at her. She's a, she She's is a beauty. great. <laughs> Um, it took uh, a little ways to navigate the road that we went down. It's not a very solid path. There's not really one direction like you ha when you have a dog and you're going into yeah. it. We obviously looked down the dog route first because there's organizations for that. Um, once we started getting involved and figuring out certain things, um, I found an organization and it's called the American Miniature Therapy Horse Association. It's, um, it was founded in the last couple of years and they're trying to blaze that path for therapy horses. They're trying to make it so that there is an organization um, that she's, I think she might be a little jealous no one I is rubbing so. on her. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I feel like <laughs> I was gonna say, honey, no offense, I'm jumping okay, over we'll here. I'm messing up the shot. I'm giving Belle some love too. <laughs> She's like, look at me. So who do these horses help, these therapy horses help exactly? Because it's really a broad group of people that can be benefited from their services. It really is. So we started in our senior communities because we felt like they are um, very neglected at times and not everyone goes to visit. So we started in the senior communities and nursing homes and rehab centers, memory care units and dementia care. And slowly we started getting tugged into other areas like um, we work in a behavioral health center with um, adolescent kids that have, um, you know, any type of um, behavioral health problems or traumas that have happened to them. Um, we also visit 10 different hospitals. So if you think of the age range that we're reaching in a hospital from the youngest of our community to the oldest of the community, the doctors, the staff, the patients that are there, the family members that are visiting, the friends, everyone enjoys meeting them. It just, um, it brightens up their day. Yes. It five minutes just to take to, you know, get their mind off of something. We also visit two uh, hospice uh, systems in Pasco um, and the surrounding counties up in Lake and Sumter as well. Um, and those are really for the family members that are there and the staff that's there. Sometimes it's not always the patient. Sometimes they're sleeping and not able to visit, but the family members that are oh, processing yes, what they're going to yeah. be dealing with for five minutes, they all get to talk I, about how cute her shoes yeah, are or the flowers in her hair. You know what? I, I want one. <laughs> how, how do you think that would go over shoes. my house? Yeah. I have a lot of residents <laughs> actually like ask me, they say, you don't have to take her from me. You can leave her here. <laughs> Natalie's a shoe girl, so this is really this is hitting true. home with this you right true. now. She's her showing me up. Hit. She's Absolutely. showing me up. <laughs> Belle, nice I, job, girlfriend. I have to ask you something I saw recently, and this has kind of gone viral because a woman took a therapy horse, or it was yes. a service horse, a miniature horse, on a plane. So you see all these yeah. photos of the horse in the plane. And so this is something, I mean, the people were cool about it. Like, okay, the horse is well behaved and doing great, but serving a purpose. But for, what's your opinion about taking a horse on a plane? And I do believe that that's an uh, incredibly high, high, highly stressful situation to put them into. Um, I think that it could possibly get abused. Um, mm. You know, people bringing just any miniature horse and that it could lead to dangerous situations. Yeah. Um, you know, if you hit an air pocket and the horse goes up, we don't mm. always hit an air pocket on every plane flight, right. could. but you, but don't you know. could. And and the the what ifs to me are too dangerous. Um, when we decided to start taking them into the hospitals and schools, that's why we took her to Disney World. We wanted well, to sweet. make sure. I want to go ahead and get the what ifs. If people want to get in touch with you, if they've got questions, if they want to learn more about what you do, if you have a what if, there's the information you see on the screen. Again, thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely. Belle, honey, you girls are welcome anytime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.